and welcome to 13 Signs Tarot. My name is Harley. This is your reading for February 16th. I hope you are doing well. So we are going to get into a collective reading. All right. So I hope everyone is in good spirits. Let's see what the messages are for February 16th. Okay. For the collective. So far, the high priestess already jumped out. We already have the high priestess here on the board. So this is an interesting energy to start off with. Let's see what this high priestess is trying to tell us, okay? If you would like to get a personal reading, make sure you check out the link in the description box, okay? I do offer personal readings, offer products, and many other services that you may want to check out. There should be a code for personal readings, uh, New Year 10, if you want to check that out, 10% off. It should be in the description box below, okay? So we have the High Priestess and the Magician. You guys know that is my soulmate combo, okay? That is my divine counterpart combo, spiritual couple. So we have the High Priestess and the Magician here. What's that about? Interesting energy. The Page of Swords. So are you guys in love with someone? Do you have a soulmate connection with someone, um, but you aren't talking to them right now? You guys are playing peekaboo. There's a lot of social media spying. Even if you guys are talking, there's a lot of unsaid communication. There's a lot that hasn't been said in this connection. There's a lot that hasn't been admitted here, okay? Um, you are dealing with someone who sees you as a high priestess, so even if you aren't a high priestess, this could definitely mean that you aren't communicating with this person. The high priestess is usually a spiritual person, a spiritual practitioner. Look at all these major arcanas. We have the Justice card. We also have the Six of Pentacles. So whoever is looking at you is someone who's very independent, okay? This is someone who likes to be in charge of their life, okay? This is someone who also might have an over-exaggerated need for independence, okay? They could be an Aries, a Virgo, a Gemini, maybe a Leo. We have Libra here, Pisces, Cancer, and Taurus, okay? So I feel like whoever this is is someone who's single. I don't feel like this person is attached to anyone else. If they are attached to someone else, it isn't showing up here. It doesn't look like it's a third party situation. Maybe they do have children with someone else. Maybe they do have a financial responsibility to someone else, but I don't feel like they're in another relationship. I, sp I feel like this person spends a lot of time watching your social media. A lot of you guys are spiritual practitioners and you do something on YouTube or you do something on social media where this person can kind of keep tabs on you and I see them doing that a lot. Uh, if you are a spiritual person, this person, like what I mean by spiritual, I mean like if you do tarot, if you do Reiki, if you do something uh, creative, I feel like this person is very similar to you. They might not tell you this, but this person's just as much into astrology and spiritual practices as you are. They're very spiritual. They pray a lot. They may even pray for you. I feel like this person probably prayed for you and you came into their life and they probably see you as like this very mystical person, okay, with the high priestess here. But they also feel like you have your back turned to them. So if you guys see in these cards with the high priestess and the magician here, you guys are, um, this your back is turned to this person. So they're kind of seeing you as not paying attention to them. You've maybe stopped having sex with this person too because you feel like maybe you needed to raise your vibration. Um, and maybe this person wasn't willing to commit in the way that you would like them to with the magician. This definitely feels like somebody who's been trying to hold on to their independence. Uh, but with the justice card here and the outcome, I feel like this person is very focused on balancing the connection, making things right. Uh, they want to figure out how you two can work together with both of your needs being met, okay? So with the magician here, they do want to keep a bit of their independence. They do want to have creative control over their life. They do want to be able to kind of come and go as they please. And I'm not trying to say they're trying to be a player. I don't get that. Um, I feel like this, act this person actually sees themselves as kind of important, but also there's an eccentric, like this person is eccentric. There's something about them where they like to have their freedom, especially creatively. They feel like maybe being in a relationship might um, just distract them, you know, it might make them kind of codependent. So it feels like this person has worked a lot on their confidence. They've worked a lot to be secure on their own. So they want to be able to keep that same energy. They want to be able to keep that same personal power, but also figure out how things can work between the two of you with justice card. Okay. Um, I feel like for a lot of you, this person would like to get married. I don't know if they want a, f a full wedding right now with the justice card here. It feels like this person wants to make the relationship legitimize. They want it to be serious, but maybe they don't want a full wedding right now, which is very, you know, the magician can be like that, especially if they're very eccentric. They would want a spiritual union between you and them. 
you know they know you're their soulmate this person feels like you're their soulmate even if you don't think they are they really believe that with the magician here so they're like you know we can be together we can have an oath before god we can you know create a covenant between each other but you know they might not be so much interested in the wedding right now they're more interested in just having a commitment with you that works for the both of you okay so let's see what this high priestess is about here the signs here like i said pisces cancer aries virgo gemini leo Libra, this is High Priestess about Spirit, the Two of Pentacles, yeah, they feel like you are weighing your options, and I'm getting specifically with this Libra, this Maya energy, you're literally weighing your options, you might even have another person, this person might feel like you've moved on, or you are entertaining another option, that might be why your back is turned towards them, yep, the Knight of Wands, so as soon as I say that this person isn't out here being a player, maybe they have been, I don't know with the magician and the knight of wands they might feel like they have they're single like this person is single so it's like they do mingle but they love you with the king of cups and the page of swords they have so much love for you where they actually sit and watch you they're in love with you but you two aren't in a relationship so this could be someone that you guys moved on from this could be someone that you're on a break from with the four of swords so like this person has the liberty to do them and you have the liberty to do you but uh this person never got over you with the king of cups they'll never get over you this is somebody who has really deep emotions for you could be a capricorn look at that first time i've seen the queen of wands in this deck so they definitely miss you especially if you're a fire sign we have the queen of cup the queen of wands the eight of pentacles and the two of cups they want to work on a relationship with you they feel like you're so sexy, like you're so hard to get out of their mind. You're so beautiful. Everything you touch is you, everything you touch flourishes. All right. So they definitely want to make things right with you. They want to work on things with you. This person's kind of I don't want to say obsessed with you, but there is a little bit of an obsession. Like they think about you a lot. They think about working on the relationship with you a lot. Um, you're more expressive and outward, outwardly expressive, and this person kind of admires that, how you just go after what you want, how, how you go after your passions, you say how you feel. This person is not someone who, they're very passionate, but they hold their emotions back a lot, and I think that's the dynamic that's different between the two of you. You're more of a, a lover, a passionate lover. This person is more of like a deep, scorpionic, possessive, protective type of energy, so that could be the difference, but... Yeah, this person definitely wants you, okay? You guys are free to do what you want, but they... It's like when you've given somebody time to go out and see what else is out there in the world, and they've looked, and they've had freedom, and they come back. So it's like when they say you let something go, and you know it's yours to stay, that's kind of what's come, going on here, okay? So that is your reading for the 16th. I hope this is help, helping you guys. I hope this reading gives you some clarity. If you need to get a personal reading, make sure you check out the link in the description box. There are codes for that down below if you'd like to, di like to get a discount. Uh, make sure you comment on my videos, make sure you like the videos and share, okay? I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.